Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. I am so excited for today's video. It is episode 13 in the Copy Kittying A Look series Smiley Shani and I are doing on our channels here on the YouTubes. So today's video I'm really excited for because I'm gonna copy kitty a friend of mine. Her name is Mary or Mari. It's spelled M-A-R-I. So in my head, I call her Mari because she's like exotic and beautiful and all the things. So hopefully I'm not mispronouncing it, but if I am, I'm doing it intentionally. Anyway, I'm going to post a picture here so you can see what the look is. I asked her and she said yes, because we're friends on Facebook and that feels a bit more personal to me. I wanted to get her consent first because she doesn't put videos on YouTube. <clears throat> so anyway, she said it was fine and I could totally do it. So hopefully I don't disappoint her and I can do a good job. I'm really excited. I'm going to tell you real quick what eyeshadows I'm going to use. I'm going to use my black from Davina Cosmetics. I can't do winged liner, so I'm going to use this and uh, shadow shields to kind of try to get the effect of a wing liner like she has in her photo. I'm going to use my Hudson Valley palette from Nomad for the red and the brown. I'm so excited for this. And then I'm going to use my Odin's Eye single called Leon, which is the sparkly red right here, as the red shimmer. I used this once before and to say it was an epic disaster would be an understatement. So I primed my eyes the way I've been doing it with the Milani eye primer on my lid up into my crease and then the Sigma Ignite pencil thingy uh, below my brow. My brows are done. My face is all lubed up, ready to go. So I'm going to zoom you in, put on some shadow shields, and we're going for the 80s country today. And uh, I'm going to do this look and then I'll come back at the end and show you and we can figure out if I did okay or not and wrap this up. I'm back and this is the finished look. Hopefully I gave you an up close of the eyes. I really like this. I think it's so fun. And I kind of took my time doing my face makeup, which I'll tell you about in a minute if you're interested. And the eyeshadows not creasing. So I think that I just can't use the NYX glitter glue because this Milani eye primer has worked with every single shimmer shade I've tried so far. So that's super exciting. Let me know uh, what you think of this look. Hopefully I did okay. As for my face, I'm using my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Powder Balm Thingy in shade three as my foundation, my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer, 
my powders are the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury and the by Terry. My bronze or my contour is the Kevin Aqua. My bronzer is the L'Oreal. My blush is new and different. I found this when I was cleaning out and rearranging the drawers in my makeup room here and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. So I've used it a couple of times now. This is the Wayne Goss face palette and this is in Coral Rose. So that's what I'm wearing for blush and highlight. And if I move my hair, maybe you can see what that looks like. I don't like having two different face products in one palette. I just don't know where to store it. <laughs> it's weird for me. But I put it in my blush drawer and I really, really like this. I completely forgotten about it and I really wasn't feeling that great. And I think I considered decluttering it when I went through my blush and highlighter collection the last time at the end of last year, I think. And I just didn't reach for it, but that's a darn good blush. And the highlighter is really pretty for, I think, a look like this, which, you know, I don't want to do a crazy highlight and crazy blush. I think the eyes and the lips are doing enough. So let me know what you think of the Wayne Goss face products. I think the eyeshadows are like fine, nothing spectacular, but I'm really happy with this little duo. So that wraps up episode 13 in the copy kidding a look Shawnee and I are doing. I will link Shawnee's channel below, of course, and I will link to Mari's Instagram below so you can go check her out. She's, ah, she's amazing and she's so nice. I just like her a lot. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.